and welcome back to the Super Channel. I think it's time to continue the trial. Why will the trial continue? The people rest their case, Your Honor. Very well. And Mr. Vance? Motion to dismiss the charges against my client. The people have failed to adequately meet the burden of proof. The state must prove the critical facts of the case to the appropriate level of certainty. They have not done so. I don't know. I heard some pretty good juice, Mr. Vance. I'm denying your motion. Call your witnesses. We call Allison Conway to the stand. Miss Conway, can you describe your relationship with the defendant? Yes, Giles, um, Mr. Bedford is the grandfather to my child. His son Harrison and I were involved in high school. And now, of course, he is the CEO of the corporation I work for. How many years have you known him? Since 1998. In that time, have you ever seen him act violent or uh, unpredictable? Um... Miss Conway? Um, no. No, I never have. Many people have said Mr. Bedford disapproved of your relationship, thought you were from the wrong side of the tracks. But this is rumor that's been blown out of proportion, correct? Objection, Your Honor. Correct. I think leading. The defense is leading Miss Conway through her testimony. Sustained. Can you describe how Mr. Bedford acted towards you and the baby after the murder? He was nice. The whole family welcomed me and my son. He paid for my medical bills um, and schooling. He paid for everything. He got me this job, told me I should work for, work for him. Miss Conway, is something wrong? No, no, I'm fine. So you think Mr. Bedford felt kindly toward you, maybe even like the daughter he never had? Mm, I think object again. Objection, Your Honor. So you think Mr. Bedford felt kind of told you maybe even like the daughter in that is speculation? Speculation. Miss Conway can't read Mr. Bedford's mind. Sustained. And in your opinion, did Mr. Bedford treat you like someone he was ashamed of or did not like? No. <laughs> no, quite the opposite. More like, more like he owed me something. No further questions. Thank you, Miss Conway. Miss Carmichael, your witness. Miss Conway has given multiple depositions regarding the facts of this case, and we have no further need to question her. Hmm. Dr. Markovich, how long have you been treating Giles Bedford? I've been the family doctor for over 13 years. And in that time, did you treat him with Benaxoline? Yes, I did. Mr. Bedford works in a very high-stress financial situation, and he wanted medication that would help him relax and be more effective. Did you ever observe any side effects? No, I did not, nor did he report any. Have any of your patients or any patients you've heard of ever reported side effects while on Benaxoline? <laughs> Objection. Relevance. Relevance. The medical histories of other patients are completely irrelevant. The doctor is testifying about Mr. Bedford. Sustained. In the 13 years you have treated Mr. Bedford, have you ever seen him display aggressive or violent tendencies to anyone in his immediate family on medication or off it? No, sir. No, I have not. No, sir. No, I have not. <laughs> okay. Good afternoon, doctor. I just have a few questions for you today. A few things to clear up. Read this disclaimer, please. It's the drug warning for Benaxoline. This drug may make you dizzy or drowsy or cause blurred vision, avoid alcoholic beverages. Older adults may be more sensitive to the side effects of this drug, especially loss of coordination and drowsiness. Benaxoline may cause symptoms including mental mood changes, sleep disturbance, increase in aggression, feelings of paranoia, or hallucinations. Increase in aggression. You know that when you were treating Mr. Bedford? I never knew Benaxoline had any side effects until I was called to testify for this trial. No. Yep, he told detectives he had messy side effects. He told detective Curtis.
you told detectives that you knew Benaxoline had, quote, some nasty side effects. I did? Well, if they say so. How often did you check in on Giles Bedford? Every 180 days. Yeah, true. So how can you say that you did or did not see any side effects? That's a half year of not seeing your patient. Anything could happen in that time. One final thing, doctor. When detectives originally talked to you in Mr. Bedford's hospital room, you told them something very interesting. I did? Oh, yes. Do you remember what it was? No. I'll remind you. You told them when, exactly, Mr. Bedford discovered Allison Conway was pregnant. When you told him secretly. Oh. Remember when you said that was? Relative to the date of the murder? Sometime after. Nah, it was before. It was before. No, you told Giles Bedford that Allison was pregnant before the murder. Before. before. He knew about the secret pregnancy because you told him. And he was angry. You said so yourself. Yes, uh, furious. So furious, in fact, that he contacted Frank Vincenzo Jr. and arranged to have her shot dead. <gasps> in, in cold, cold blood. blood. I... oh my god. Objection, Your Honor. Withdrawn. No further questions. Allison? What are you doing here? I want to talk. As long as the trial is still underway, I'm afraid there's not much I can say to you. Fine, so I'll do the talking. There's something I've tried very hard to push down, to forget, but it's coming back. Mr. Bedford always told me the baby was a surprise to him. He never, ever mentioned he knew about it beforehand. So when you said the name, it didn't click before. What name? Frank Vincenzo Jr. Can you... Can you show me a picture of him? Thank you. You're welcome. Your Honor, the people call Allison Conway to the stand as a friendly witness. Objection. What's going on here, Mike? Both of you, approach. Allison Conway recently had a breakthrough and her memory is crucial to the people's case. We want to call her to testify. I've had no warning of this. She has additional evidence to present. I'll move for a mistrial as soon as she leaves the stand. And I will decide whether your motion has merit, Counselor, but not a moment before. Now, take a deep breath and listen to what your witness has to say. You, you introduced her. Now you get to take your lumps, Mr. Vance. <laughs> Mr. Cutter, your witness. Miss Conway, can you tell us why you're here today? After I was shot, my memory was spotty, but over the years, I've been able to put some pieces back together. And you recently remembered something about the shooting. I haven't thought about that day in years. I've tried not to. My life was perfect in some ways. There was no reason to remember. But this trial, it's all coming back. <laughs> Tell us about what you remember on the day of the shooting. It was a school day. I went to Harrison's house in the afternoon, like I usually did, but he wasn't there. Mr. Bedford said he sent him on an errand and he wouldn't be back soon. Mr. Bedford knew we had a track meet coming up, so he suggested I take a run in the park while I waited. He would have his driver take me over there. I felt uncomfortable in the house, so I said fine and got changed. As I was about to leave, Harrison came back early. He asked where I was going, and when I told him, he said he wanted to come with me. He was scared about the pregnancy but protective too, proud even. So it was just the two of us out for a run. Harrison didn't even bother changing. I remember he had this funny Argyle sweater on. Funny Argyle sweater on. Yeah, I think that's too. The two were known as the Preppy Jokers. Yeah, Preppy Joker case. Anyway, we got in the car and Harrison noticed right away. The driver, he was new. Harrison asked him his name and he told us. 
I remember it because it was a funny coincidence. He had the same name as Harrison's brother, Frank. When Detective Curtis showed me the picture of Frank Vincenzo Jr., I knew. I knew what you had done. It wasn't enough you wanted the tramp from the wrong side of the tracks out of your son's life. You wanted me dead. And your unborn grandchild. No. No. Frank wasn't a driver. He was a hitman. Hired to kill me. And he followed us into the park. But then Harrison fought back, protected me. And he ended up paying the ultimate price for your anger. When you realized what you had done... To assuage your dirty, rotten conscience, you took me in. Paid my bills, bought my love and loyalty. You bastard! Miss Conway! Well, the truth is out, Giles. And now the whole world will know what you are. What you always were. Murderer. Thank you, Allison. No further questions. Oh. This is really, really heartbreaking. How long has the jury been out? Six hours. What do you think they'll come back with? Lots of circumstantial evidence. Defense knocked us around pretty good. Jury likes us. Sure, but remember, all it takes is one. One person to undo a decade of police work. Lenny would be proud, Ray. I hope you know that. Thanks, LT. Showtime. Have you reached a verdict? We have, Your Honor. And how do you find? On the count of murder in the first degree, we find the defendant, Giles Bedford, guilty. And on the count of attempted murder? Guilty. We thank you for your service. Defendant is remanded into custody until sentencing. Well, Pence has already filed his appeal. Of course. We saw that coming a mile away. Doesn't matter. You won today, and that's what's important. And tomorrow, do it all over again. That's how it worked when I was ADA. But tonight, we celebrate. Dinner's on me. Hey, Lenny. How you doing? Look, I came out here. Uh, I just wanted to tell you. We got him. After all these years, we got him. It was nice having one last chance to work with you on a case. Funny. It really doesn't seem like that long ago. But you blink your eyes and everything's different. People disappear. Faces change. But, well, at least the city is still the same. Anyways, thanks. Couldn't have done it without you, old man. Yeah, what I can say is this is a really good game because I can learn a few things, a few things about the world, a few things about order. Yeah, I think there are one. I haven't downloaded I haven't downloaded any of them. But anyways... That's all for today. Thank you for watching. 
Click or like if you like it, share it with others and subscribe for more videos. See you later at the next video.